Hi friends, you are watching InfoNexus. Friends, when a ship or vessel is in the sea, it does not only have to face sea storms and high waves, but also some other unexpected challenges, like pirate attacks. And Somalian pirates are famous all over the world for this work. According to the International Maritime Bureau, the shipping industry has to incur a loss of 16 billion US dollars every year. The cause of this loss is transport delays, but the biggest factor is piracy. There are only a few locations for Somali pirates to attack. One is the Somalian Sea, the second is the Gadafi Channel, and the third and most important location is the Gulf of Aden. All those ships that have to go from Asia to Europe use the Gulf of Aden to enter the Mediterranean Sea through the Suez Canal. A large part of the world's trade uses the Gulf of Aden, which has the most oil transport vessels. And this is where the threat of Somali pirates is. Viewers, for many years, piracy has been a big problem for the shipping industry. Pirates were not so advanced before, but now with the help of modern technology, where pirates have also advanced, anti-piracy techniques and weapons have also advanced. The goods transport vessel is their main target, because there are at least a few crews in this type of ship, while goods worth millions of dollars are being transported in them. Most pirates' target is not to kill the crew of the ship, but they capture their ship or kidnap the captain or make the whole ship a hostage and demand millions of dollars from the shipping company. They don't come in one or two, but come on many boats, in which the number of pirates has been recorded in thousands. First of all, they reach near the vessel and scare the captain with bullets so that he stops the ship. Remember that the captain's job is not only to take the ship from one place to another, but the safety of the vessel is also the captain's responsibility. After that, they use grappling hooks to climb on the vessel. After climbing up, they first make the captain and crew a hostage, or in many cases, they take the whole vessel to an unknown location. Once the ship worth millions of dollars is in their possession, there are a lot of chances that the shipping company will give a few lake dollars and get rid of them. But it is not that private ships do not try to avoid such accidents. Modern ships are no less to save themselves from pirates. When a vessel is in danger that pirates are approaching it, it must first inform the coastal security authority nearby. After that, the captain increases the speed of the vessel. The reason for increasing the speed is not that the pirates will not be able to reach them, but because of the fast speed, the ship creates waves, which makes it very difficult for the small boats of the pirates to come close to the vessel. Now, until the coastal authorities reach the vessel and confront the pirates, all the crew members, including the captain, have to waste the pirates' time. And for this work, many advanced methods are used. Number one is water cannons. These water cannons are installed in almost all ships and are considered the most effective method to stop pirates. This type of nozzle is installed on all sides of the ship or vessel. Each nozzle has the ability to throw 1,350 gallons of seawater in just one minute. That is, every passing minute, 5,110 liters of water from different nozzles. This is so much water that an average sized swimming pool can be filled in just 10 minutes. Its pressure is 10 times more than the air in a 175 sidecar tire. When there is so much pressure on the pirates, it drops them off the boat and can even overturn the entire boat. This nozzle made of marine grade stainless steel is operated by the crew members sitting in the operations room with the help of a joystick. And they can also be kept on the auto. When so much pressure water falls on the pirate's boat, their ability to operate is very low, and they spend a lot of time taking R of themselves. If they still succeed in getting close to the vessel, or if they have a big yacht, then the water cannon can be aimed at their yacht and pushed it away. In addition to the water cannon, many ships also have such wheels attached to fill the water in the pirate's boat. When the pirates succeed in getting close to the vessel, then these wheels are turned on. Due to the water coming out of it, the water fills the pirate's boat and the speed of the boat decreases. In such a situation, the pirates sitting inside have to get away from the vessel. 3. These are hard steel frames that come out on both sides of the ship, which have steel wires attached to them. As soon as the pirates come close to the vessel, the steel wires are left in the water. Pirates mostly use speedboats that have a propeller attached to them. These steel wires get stuck in the propeller, which causes the boat's engine to get stuck. Pirates start removing the boat's engine from the steel wire, and ultimately their precious time is wasted. 4. 
L-Raid or Long Range Acoustic Device, this special device actually generates such a sound beam that as soon as a person hears it, he wants to run away. Its range is up to 5 chem, and it makes a sound like this. The sound is so loud that a person cannot tolerate it. L-Raid is not only used in anti-piracy operations, but is also often used to drive away protesters. 5. But because this fence is always attached to the vessel, the birds on the ship can also die. Therefore, as soon as the attack ends, it is folded back and closed. In April 2009, a cargo ship from the shipping company Mask Alabama left Oman for Kenya. Round the Somali coast, 1,000 pirates attacked it and put the crew members in great trouble. This was the first time in 200 years that pirates have attacked an American ship. There were 21 crew members on this ship, including ship captain Richard Phillips. The crew fired flares to stop the pirates from approaching the ship and also used a water cannon. But two Somali pirates managed to get on the ship. They went to the deck, got the ship under their control, and made the crew members hostage with the captain. The pirates put the captain on the lifeboat at gunpoint and kidnapped him and ran away. Their demand was two million US dollars, and they would return the captain in exchange. Here I am telling you that lifeboats have limited fuel, and obviously they could not go far in this condition. Navy officers followed the lifeboat. Their goal was not to let the pirates reach the coast. Because if they reach the coast, then it will be impossible to find them in a corrupt country like Somalia. The Navy deployed a helicopter that was flying low near the lifeboat and creating a windstorm. This was preventing the lifeboat from reaching the coast. Finally, an American ship was stopped on the way to the lifeboat. Their only goal was to waste the pirates' time so that the lifeboat's fuel runs out. After 80 hours, when the fuel ran out, the pirates agreed to negotiate. Their demand was to be sent to the Somali coast or they would kill Captain Philip. There were three pirates in the lifeboat who had made one captain a Yargamal. If the Navy took a wrong step, it would result in the death of the captain. The Navy ordered three snipers who decided to kill all three pirates at the same time from a distance of 500 meters. It took many hours to set the position and wait for the right time. And finally, the time came when all three pirates were on the sniper's target at the same time. All three of them pressed their trigger at the same time and finally killed the pirates and saved Captain Richard Phillip. That's all today, friends. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.